Hey guys, this is my May favorites video. I have a couple different items. Some of them you have already seen in recent hauls, but a couple of them are new ones or ones that I just haven't showed you in a really, really long time. So we'll start off with the two NYX products that I'm really loving or have loved a lot this past month in May. Um, so the first is the NYX NYX Born to Illuminate Highlighter, and this one is in shade 2 Gleam, or color 2 I guess, Gleam. and. It's like the Sunbeam from Benefit, but instead of kind of a gold, it has a bit of a red or a pink tint. Um, so this is kind of what it is there. And oh, I hardly put any of that on there. There we go. And then you just rub it in. So obviously I wouldn't put that much on my face at a time, but you just kind of like that and it illuminates where you put it. <laughs> and then the other item is the blush stick from NYX and I really like these blush sticks. Um, and they're pretty inexpensive. I think this was like $6 or $5 even. Um, and this one is in pink poppy and it looks like that and like there. And again, I already have it on my face, but I'll just put some more on since why don't I just demonstrate all my products. Um, so I like this. It's very buildable, which is good because at first it kind of blends in a little bit too well. Um, so yeah, I like that it's very buildable and I think this is like now three layers of it on um, since I just put a third one on. Um, but yeah, you can actually see it, so that's good. Then my next item is one that I've had a very long time. I probably bought it about four months ago, but I, I don't know, I used it like once or twice and then I put it away and about two weeks ago I started using it and I use it almost every day. I don't have it on my lids right now. It's, oh yeah, I should tell you what it is. It is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. Um, so that's what it is there. And that there. And basically I put a light color on my lids usually and then I'll use this and just use it with my finger and put it kind of on the outer half of my eye and then I take an even darker just powder um, shadow and then just kind of blend it all in. And I think that it works really nicely and it kind of saves me a step from using a different one and yeah, no, I just really like it and it's, I always like things that you can put on with your fingers, hence basically all my other two items too, which are finger items. So then my next item is actually a finishing powder and it is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder um, and it's white. It doesn't, you know, give you any color, it doesn't make your face white or anything. Um, well, it looks white on here, but when you put it on your skin, yeah, it basically just takes away all the shine. So I use this for two things. Once when I put my bronzer and my blush on, and then I'll just put my brush in this, and then I'll just kind of swirl around just to blend my bronzer line. So yeah, I don't have like a big line of where I was contouring. Um, and then at the end of the day or something, if I am a little too shiny, um, or a little too shiny to my liking, then I will just put this on so I'm not putting on any color. I'm just basically just taking to shine away. Um, so yeah, and I mean, it's very inexpensive. It doesn't last very long. Um, I, it, I got it maybe not even the beginning of May, probably about the second week of May. So it only lasts about three weeks. Um, and you can see it's yeah, really thin. Now, this actually didn't break off. Um, it looks like I dropped or something and it broke off, but no, it's just kind of using it. So you can see it's like very thin here and it's a little bit thicker on the edge, but still for, I think this was like $2.99 or maybe $3.99, but I mean, that's, that's really good. And I will definitely repurchase this because yeah, I just like having kind of something in my makeup area to help take the shine off without actually adding on a whole lot of like layering and like extra colors and foundation or powder foundation. So I still have a powder foundation that I use um, just to the very beginning to kind of mattify my face and kind of seal everything in. But this is just a good, as it says, a fixing compact. So a fixer upper kind of in the middle of your day or the end of your day or something. So then my last two items go together. They are a lip combo that I have on my lips now and actually I've been wearing pretty much all month. So it is the L'Oreal Colorish Lipsticks in the, the Caress line. And this one is in Sunset Angora. This here, and I'll do two actually. So that's it. <laughs> looks very similar to the blush. Imagine that. Anyways, it's a nice coral color, just like the poppy color. And then the lip gloss I've been putting over is the Essence Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss. And I don't know if this comes in a color 
or what color it says it is. It does have a color, I just cannot find the color. <laughs> Anyways, it's a kind of an interesting um, applicator. It's not your typical doe foot applicator, even though it is a sponge. It kind of, I don't know, goes like this and then out in a little ball. So I'll do, this is what it looks like on its own. And then I'll put it over top. And yeah, it's very similar, it just kind of adds, it lightens up the lipstick a little bit. Um, so this is the lipstick on its own, this is the gloss on its own that I kind of layered on a lot. Um, and then this is the middle, so it just lightens it up. And I've been really liking this because it's very glossy and thick, um, but it's not sticky at all, which is good. And it almost gives the illusion of, which sounds really bad, but like, fake lips, which is ridiculous. What is a fake lip? Like, you know, um, but I don't know. It almost looks like it's just really perfect. And it looks like when you have those really sticky glosses that you can't like do anything with, but it's actually not sticky. And it just gives like a really crystally look um, and super shiny. And yeah, that's why I really like this. And I love pairing it over that other kind of coral color. And I just think that they complement each other really well because they're very similar in color, um, but they just kind of each shine through a little it on their own as well. So those are all of the items that I have really been loving in May. I hope you guys like this video and let me know all of your favorite items and my dogs now decide to play with the squeaky toy. Um, so I will sign off and say talk to you guys later. Bye!